Chief Meteorologist David Carnes has more on Nicole and how we might be affected here as well. David. Yeah, guys, we'll start with the current radar image and you can see it getting closer and closer to the shoreline as the center of the storm. It's uh, can't call it the eye yet. It's still a tropical storm. It is right over the Bahamas and it is sliding to the west. Now notice you can see some, quite an onshore flow as the storm moves to the east and some of that onshore flow, as you saw in some of the video, already being felt even further north than this up around Jacksonville Beach. Take a look at this video and we've got an onshore flow of wind that's just really pounding the waves into the shoreline. Uh, the estimated storm surge, keep in mind, this is nothing like Ian. It's not going to be anything like that, but along the immediate coast, three foot to six foot storm surge is a possibility where we have that onshore flow. So this is the current look. You can see the camera shaking as the winds begin to pick up just a bit. Let's take a look at the latest uh, on Nicole. It's still, again, a tropical storm. 70 mile per hour winds, that is almost a hurricane. 74 miles per hour is when it's categorized as a hurricane. And notice it is going to be making land fall. Uh, it says 1 a.m. Thursday. We'll call it T either tonight or early tomorrow morning during the overnight as a category one hurricane. So it is expected to strengthen a little bit more as it moves on shore. The slow moving nature of this storm, we could see some widespread flooding as the system moves across the peninsula, comes out on the other side, takes a turn to the north and then moves east of the Tennessee Valley. As it moves east of our area, we're going to see the rain moving up Thursday night into Friday morning and then we'll see it clearing out Friday afternoon as cold air slides in for the weekend. Uh, the Tropical storm winds, that's going to be the biggest issue where it makes landfall from Daytona Beach down to West Palm. Uh, we're looking at tropical storm winds likely. Tropical rain for us Thursday night through Friday. Cold air this weekend, and it's going to stay cold all next week. We're talking highs right around 50 degrees much of next week. Lows right around 30, 31. Right now we're in the upper 60s and low 70s. Some of our sky watchers checking in. Here at Local 3, we made it to 75. 73 Signal Mountain, 70 Mowbray. I uh, got to 74 in East Brainerd, Somerville at 73, Delano 79 degrees, 78 in Riceville, and Dayton making it to 76. Well, let's get to our future cast and we'll show you what's going to be going on. Uh, we're going to see clouds uh, increasing tomorrow as the remnants of Nicole begin to lift close to the Tennessee Valley. Uh, those clouds, this takes us to 5 o'clock, so most of the day tomorrow you're going to be fine. It's not going to be until Thursday night, maybe 7, 8, 9 o'clock. We'll start to see some of those outer bands and showers lifting up into the Tennessee Valley. That rain is going to be heavy at times. This is 11 o'clock at night. And then as we move through, this is 7 o'clock in the morning, and you're thinking, well, everything pushes off to the west. That's great, that heavier rainfall. But then a cold front is going to pick up that moisture and push it eastward once again, giving us some heavier rain through the day on Friday. It's going to be a very wet commute for you on Friday morning. Storm alert weather day because of that on Friday. Not expecting any severe weather in terms of tornadoes, really even damaging winds, but heavy rain, even some localized flooding will be possible on Friday morning into early afternoon. Friday late afternoon, we see the low, the remnant of the system moving off to the northeast, and we will dry out and see that colder air settling in. So tonight, partly cloudy. We'll drop into the mid to upper 40s, some spots in the low 40s. So jackets, sweaters tomorrow morning, and then tomorrow afternoon, we're still going to call it 73, even though those clouds are going to be building through the afternoon. And then during the evening into your uh, Thursday night, we'll see the rainfall moving in. Low 70s widespread. Uh, then we'll see uh, the storm alert weather day on Veterans Day. Again, the rainfall will be fairly heavy at times through early afternoon, late afternoon into Friday night. It begins to clear out on Saturday, though. I can't rule out a stray sprinkle in the afternoon, a high of 55. That's it. And Sunday is the cold day. 31 in the morning, 50 in the afternoon, and notice those mornings stay cold and the afternoons stay chilly as well. More rain. Yes, just rain on the way for next Tuesday.